this is MJ and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to make these cute and tiny textured mittens. The yarn that I'm using for this pattern is Mellow Spun DK Weight and this yarn is provided by Mary Maxim for this tutorial. So the colors that I've shown here are cream, garnet, and buff. I'll be showing you the tutorial in the buff today. You will need a four millimeter crochet hook for this pattern and this is a supernova streamline hook from furls crochet and there will be a link in the description box on where you can purchase the hooks so we'll begin with a slip knot and we'll put that on the hook and chain out a total of six we'll now work a single crochet in the second chain from the hook and in each chain across. So we now have a total of five stitches. So the, the first part of the mitten will work the band and we're doing that in rows. So we'll chain one and turn. Now we'll work through the back loops only and we're working a single crochet work in the back loop only of every stitch across. We're going to repeat row two now until we've worked a total of 18 rows. So I'm gonna complete that and when I have my 18 rows completed, I'll meet back up with you. Once you've completed 18 rows, we can fold the band in half and we're going to slip stitch it together. So I will chain one and I'm going to work through the back loop of the stitch across to the chain and we'll slip stitch across five. We'll chain one. We can turn so that we have that slip stitch edge to the inside. Now what we'll do is work around one stitch per row. One, two, three, four, and you're working around a total of 18 stitches. Once you've worked all the way around, we'll slip stitch in the first single crochet to join. And now we're gonna work an increase round. So we'll chain one, work a single crochet in the first two stitches, and then two single crochet in the next. We'll repeat that pattern around. So one in the next two, and then two in the next. Okay, so repeat that around. So you should now have 24 stitches. We'll slip stitch in the first single crochet to join. We'll chain one, and now we're gonna start into our textured pattern. So we'll work a single crochet and a double crochet in the same stitch. Then we'll skip the next stitch and work a single and a double in the next stitch. We'll skip the next stitch and a single and a double and repeat that around. When you get all the way around, you should be skipping that last stitch. We'll slip stitch in the first stitch to join chain one and now we'll work a single and a double in the single crochet of the previous round. So we skip over the double crochet and work a single 
and a double. Skip over the double and work a single and a double in the single crochet. Repeat that around. And then we'll slip stitch to join in the first stitch. Now for the next round, we'll chain one. We're going to work a total of 18 stitches and then we're going to skip seven. So let's start by working across. Working in our pattern, a single and a double in every single crochet, just keep track of how many stitches. So I've done four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. 14, 16, 16, and 18. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stitches. We're gonna skip all of them because this will be the thumb. So we're just going to skip them completely and slip stitch in our first stitch to join. So now we're gonna be working this part of the mitten in the round, and then we'll come back and do the thumb separately. So we're just working in our same pattern. So a single and a double, skip a stitch, single and a double. So now we're working a total of 18 stitches around. Okay, so once you've gotten all the way around, we're gonna slip stitch to join and repeat that for three more rounds. So I'm gonna work three more rounds, working in the pattern at 18 stitches, and then I'll meet you back up for the next step. Okay, so now once you have your three more rounds completed, so four rounds after our thumb, we're going to work single crochets around in every other stitch. Single crochet in the first stitch, skip a stitch, single crochet in the next, skip a stitch, single crochet in the next. Working that around for a total of nine stitches. So I slip stitch to join, we can fasten that off and now we're gonna pull the top of the mitten closed. So take your yarn needle And we'll weave through every other stitch around. And you'll just be able to pull it closed. We'll do some weaving to secure our tail. We can weave back in the opposite direction just to keep it that it's nice and secure. Okay, and now we'll join on to finish our thumb. Okay, so I'm going to just join in here right to this stitch. chain one. I'm going to work a single and a double sticking with the same stitch pattern. Skip a stitch. Skip a 
single and a double. Skip a stitch. I'm actually working into the doubles instead of the singles, but that's okay. That's just how it works out. And I'm going to skip a stitch. And in the last stitch, I'm going to do another single and a double. So I'm going to end up with eight stitches for the mitten. I'm going to come around and slip stitch to join. chain one and then I'm going to do another round of working the single and the double. Now this time we are skipping the double crochet working into the single and we're going to do that around. And once you get around we'll slip stitch to join and fasten off Okay, so let's slip stitch. We're gonna fasten off, we're gonna close up the thumb just like we closed up the top. And you're gonna notice we're gonna have a bit of a hole, a little bit of a hole here. We can just use that tail to sew that together. So to finish it off, it's just gonna need a little bit of sewing and weaving in some tails. So I am going to weave through every other stitch. Okay, and then I'm just going to close it up. I'm going to weave in that tail and I'm just going to use this tail to sew that closed and then snip off my, my tails once they're woven in. And that completes our cute little mitten. I'm not going to be overly fussy with this. I'm just going to make sure that it's sewn closed. Okay, and then I'm just going to weave in my tail. If you're following along making the advent calendar, you can add a number. I purchased these wooden numbers from Amazon. I'll have a link in the description box. They include the little bit of twine as well that you can tie on. And then I'm just gonna tie this to my wooden advent calendar tree that I purchased from Amazon as well. So I'll link all that in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, Please subscribe to my channel and tap the bell to stay updated on all my new videos and tutorials. Thanks so much guys. Have an awesome day.